Hey my lovely, so I've got another box of empties to show you and my first empties video went down really well so I thought I would do another one and a lot of this stuff is everything kind of emptied from my shower. I'm one of these people that will end up collecting a lot of like random shampoos and body washes uh, and all that malarkey. I said to myself one day, right, before I buy any more shampoos and conditioners, I'm going to make sure I use all the ones that are in my shower first. One, because I don't want to be wasteful. And um, two, so I can make an empties video for you guys. One point to make before I get started, if I sound nasally or I go croaky, it's because um, I've been ill, which is why I haven't made a video for over a week now. I decided, well I didn't decide, my body decided to get the flu um, last week. So I haven't had a chance to film and I'm still recovering now and I feel a lot better. Like I don't ache and I can actually get up and do stuff, but I haven't been like that ill for a long time like literally I was so ill that my dad was looking after me like bringing me cups of soup and everything and I'm nearly 20 and that's how ill I felt. Feeling alright now I'm still really bunged up though and I can't hear a thing but it's either that or no video at all so hopefully I don't sound too ill. So the first products that I've used up that I want to show you are the Tazzle Me Softly range by Herbal Essence or Herbal Essences. Herbal Essence, Herbal Essences, whatever. I really, really, really like these. I've got both the shampoo and the conditioner. You have to excuse, like, the state of some of this stuff. Like, it's been in my shower. And we all know that once stuff has been in your shower for a while, it does get a little bit scummy. I have bought these a few times, I think. And um, I really, really like them. I don't know if it's meant to, like, enhance curls or whatever, but it's meant to kind of make your hair a little bit wavy and scruffy, hence why it's called Tazzle Me Softly. As someone that has quite kind of kind of crazy hair, I've got like wavy bits and then and then like some bits will be like ringlets and other bits will just be straight and frizzy. When I used these I found that my hair did get a lot curlier. Um, so I felt like it did enhance them a bit. I mean if you have dead straight hair I don't know if these would do anything for you. It might help like in the summer when you want to get like a beach look if you use some like sea salt as well. Um, these might help you but if you've got kind of wavy hair like mine I'd definitely say try these out because they're cheap and for me it did the jip did the jib, did the job. I found that when I used them I got out of the shower and I let my hair dry naturally and um, bits like here that don't naturally curl were actually like ha forming like proper ringlets for the first couple of days after I'd washed it. Um, so I definitely did see a difference when I used these. Another item from the Tazzle Me Softly range is this Soft Waves Intensive Mask. Again, I really like this. It did exactly what the shampoo and conditioner did, but um, it just nourished my hair a lot more and deep conditioned it. It was really nice to use kind of every other wash, so I definitely recommend this as well. Another hair product that I've run out of is the Hair Education Defined Moisturising Conditioner. Now, I don't know where you can buy this. I will link it in the down bar, and I think you have to contact a special number if you want to make an order. I don't know, but this is one of my favourite conditioners that I've used. I think in my last empties video, I might have mentioned the shampoo. I love the smell of these. They literally smell amazing, and my hair is so conditioned afterwards and so soft, and yeah, I really recommend these. Last hair care product is the Dumb Blonde... Um, damaged or chemically treated hair um, bed head conditioner stuff so basically this is for obviously blondes because it's called dumb blonde and um, it's for damaged or chemically treated hair probably that much of my hair now is bleached um, even though like, I know I've got like blonde bits here that is actually natural I my hair is pretty random I have like black bits in some of my hair as well like I literally have every colour in my hair under the sun I really really like this it almost smelled like Sherbetty pineapples. A little bit left at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> it's a, it literally just smells so good. Like everything from Bedhead smells amazing, and this was just a really nice deep conditioner. I don't know if I would buy it at full price. I actually got this when I went to TK Maxx for like the first time ever. My friend was like, right, you've got to come to TK Maxx with me. It is amazing. I went there and got a load of shampoos and conditioners, like half price. I think I got this for like under a tenner and normally this is way more expensive. But if I had the money to sort of splash out on this, I would buy it again. Really lovely product and I do love the smell of it. Another shower product that I'm going to show you and it's nothing amazing but it's the Imperial Leather Sublime Starflower and Pomegranate Shower Cream with J Jojoba Pearls? Jojoba Pearls? Jojoba Pearls? 
I don't know. And it's meant to be a richly moisturising um, body wash. I don't think it was moisturising, it was just like your bog standard body wash. I don't really have any shower gels that I'm like, oh my god, they're amazing. So I probably wouldn't buy this again. I am using one at the moment by Body Shop, which I love, which you will see in my um, November favourites. But I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Although if you follow me on Instagram, you guys can probably guess what it is. But yeah, meh. Last shower product, and it is the um, Satin Care Radiant Apricot Shaving Gel by Gillette. Now, I don't really buy shaving gel that often. Like, it's kind of the thing where I'm like, well, it's kind of expensive, it runs out quick, and I can just use soap. Or, if you have the razors like I have by Gillette, um, that are like pink, and they have the, um, actually you can probably get them in other colours as well, but they have like the massive like gel pads on the top and the bottom of the razor, and sometimes you don't even need to use anything like to shave with because the gel is enough. So I kind of feel like it's a bit pointless. But um, occasionally I like to treat myself to shaving gel. This is really nice. It smells nice. I probably would buy this again. And it does make your legs feel very nice and smooth. So yeah, it is worth getting. And oh my god, this is really like rusty. Um, yeah. Last two products. Uh, the first one is the Cutex nail polish remover. And it's the orange one. And it's like the mini version. It's the 100 milliliter one and I can't remember why I got the small one I think it was because months ago actually when I went to um, Wales to camp with Doug and his family um, I needed a nail polish remover to take with me and I literally got it before I went to the train station that day so I was in a rush and I was like I don't want a massive bottle so I got the small one I would buy it again I really like the um, Cutex nail polish removers I always find that Stuff like this, I want to kind of get like the cheaper own brand stuff, like the Boot Zone and the Super Drug Own. But I always find that every time I get like the cheap nail polish removers, that they just don't work very well. You end up with like nail polish all over your hands. Um, it takes ages to get the nail polish off, and yeah, they just don't work. And you you do get what you pay for when it comes to nail polish removers. It's a good product, and I would buy it again if I had to. Last one is one that you see me talk about on my channel just for you like since I started and that is Revlon Colorstay and it's for the dry to normal skin and um, it's in 150 buff the only reason I don't get the lightest shade is because it's too cool for my skin this is more warm I've got quite a neutral skin tone but I'm more edging towards a warmer tone in my skin so the more kind of like warm based foundation suit me better so that's why I have the second shade up and not the lightest one. I did used to have the lightest one but it was a bit pinky on my skin. I really like this. I get this like all year round. There's not much to say about this. I love this. A load of people love this foundation actually. But I always find that you need a good makeup remover to get it off your skin because it can really hold on to your skin but that's because it lasts forever. I can put it on really early in the morning and then go out all day and then go out, go out at night and then wake up the next morning and my foundation still look pretty good. So that's saying something, but at the same time, you need a good makeup remover. I like to use a Garnier one, which is like, has the blue, like oily bit, and then like the water cleanser stuff. It really kind of like breaks up the foundation and gets it off your face, and then I cleanse and tone. Need to do a skincare routine. I keep forgetting. So yeah, that is my November empties. I hope you enjoyed it, and I feel that my voice is starting to like, uh, like bung up I'm sorry I'm gonna go and um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I probably will have another empties video in probably January I can see myself doing these kind of every couple of months rather than every month because I feel like I don't use up enough products to do one every month it's kind of a bit excessive for me anyway so yeah probably have another one of these in January and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>